attention, 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 attention. This Fukushima thing is a, is terrible. It's awful for the people there. Um, you know, there's many reasons why it should have been avoided, both in terms of the initial design. It's a 1960s design, three reactors put into service 1971, 1973, 1974. Uh, it's an early generation two type design. And uh, the emergency plans were quite weak and the actual execution and the situation was quite weak. The actual effect is uh, you know, clearly going to be very negative. Now, if you compare it to the amount that coal's killed per kilowatt hour or natural gas, you know, blows up neighborhoods every once in a while, um, it's way, way less. And it tends to come in these big events like 25 years ago, Chernobyl, uh, 31 years ago, Three Mile Island, and now Fukushima. And so it's, it's more visible, and it needs to be improved. Those designs, they never could simulate. They couldn't simulate what would happen. They couldn't simulate the disaster. And you know, the beauty in almost every realm that you'll talk about at this conference is that software simulation changes the game. Uh, we, you know, we sit there and take, there, so yeah, there's this funny company, TerraPower, which is a thing that Nathan Mirvold and I uh, have spun out of, of his invention group, Intellectual Ventures. And it's an, a new nuclear design, which on paper is quite amazing. Uh, you know, on paper, it's a lot easier uh, to do these things. But when I say on paper, I really mean in a supercomputer where we simulate everything. And so we can simulate uh, Richter 10 earthquake. We simulate 70-foot waves coming into these things. It's very cool. Uh, and we we basically say no human should ever be required to do anything because if you judge by Chernobyl and, and uh, Fukushima, the human element is not on your side. Uh, you know, even if all you have to do is circulate a little bit of water over something, a storage pool of uh, spent fuel, all you have to do is keep it underwater. You don't even have to circulate. And yet, because of a variety of things, uh, that turned out to be difficult. So you've got to design something that humans just don't have to be involved in. So it, it has real potential. It doesn't move at the speed of semiconductors. So the best case is that by 2020, one of these will get built. And then by 2030, you could have hundreds of them. Uh, and then, you know, if it's really as economic as we say, and as, as uh, of course, it is CO2 free. That's, that we're, that's the easiest part. Uh, then it starts to make a big impact.